Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to yeah, do a bit of collage. I've not collaged for ages, so I'm making these. They can be journal cards or attach them to a card blank and they can become a greeting card. So without further ado, I will go back in time to when I made them. Bye bye. Right, so here we go. Uh, I've got my lovely little girlies and my one lovely lady cut out from Angela's kit and I'm going to be making journal cards or greeting cards so what I've got here is that is a C6 card that's a imp imp it's not imperial it's a metric size your C6 is basically A5 folded in half and A5 is half of an A4 sheet yes so and that measures five and three quarters by four so I've cut a piece that I'm going to do my collage on down to five and a half by three and three quarters. So it will mat on there lovely as a greeting card or just use it as a journal card. That's, yeah, any journal card you see med, slap it on a card blank and it's a greeting card. Boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. I don't know why I said that. Right, let's get some collaging done. Right, I've got some, yeah. Turns out that if I put paper in my new printer that's not perfectly square, if the edge has got a tiny little wrinkle, that's where it does. Lovely. The Canon never did that. Apart from that, I'm liking it. <laughs> so I've got, I've printed these out. This is just copy of paper. I like it as thin as can be when I'm just collaging. I've got two of the pinks from Angela's kit and the green. I've also, that's just a tea stain one. I don't know why, because I've got loads of tea stain scraps. And in this pile somewhere I do have, here we go. That's in the freebie kit that's on Angela's Facebook page. It's music paper. Use any music paper. You don't have to use this music paper. I'm using it because it's Christmassy. Yeah, and I've not really fully got all my Christmas stash out this year, have I? I've just got bits and bats out. So I'm just going to take some of this edge off. Use your clear ruler, woman, because then you can see exactly how much you're tearing off. If you use your metal one, you can't go a clue and it's going to be wonky as a donkey. And where's your clear ruler gone? What have you done with it? Will you ever learn to be tidy when you're crafting? I can feel it. It's in here somewhere. No, nope, that's a bone folder. What's that? That's a packet of sparkles. It's just, it's gone. Oh, here it is. These clear things, they fuffle me. I can't find them. They're really hard to see. Don't even talk to me about acetate. I've been wanting to do an acetate project, but not had the time to film in daylight. And, yeah. Then I can't find acetate because it's clear. No, it's not actually that bad. But anyway, just rip some paper and shut up. You know you want to. So I'm just going to rip... Let it rip, let it rip. See, I'm not being overly careful. I've just got the urge to collage. I've got some of this green painter's paper because it's just so nice. Do that with your ruler as well. Have a lost ruler? Not quite. I'm not really thinking much about me. <laughs> right. I'm not going to tear it all with ruler, I don't have to. And yeah, I'm going to collage over that, you won't see it. So, I like that. I mean, I use the same principle if I'm doing a journal cover. In fact, the cover I'm going to do for my own little private Christmas journal. Well, it's not private, I'm going to show it you. I don't know why I said private. Personal, that's it. Personal, not private. Crazy woman. Yeah, I want a bit of ink on. Because I can. I'm not inking that side because it's going to mostly be covered. I'll just start smidging at top and bottom. So I'm going to have a bit of that on. I want my paint to take a bit wobbly. Let's take some edges off. Bit of paint is paper. And I think I want some green on this one. Bit of green. Not loads. I don't want loads of colour because they, they're like the sepia, aren't they? Well, I'm just going to grab my cup of tea. Thank you, darling. That uh, sums me up at Christmas. Sometimes I stay inside because it's just too peeply out there. Yum. Oh. So 
It's like I've been room service, I think, kids, to make you a cuppa. Right, I'm going to... I'm going a bit that way and that way because I'll get some with white and some with art. I like that. And then, get rid of my white. It's just collage, you don't really need to talk you through it. I could talk about absolute rubbish. I mostly do, don't I? So, yeah, it's been... I don't know how people who go mad at Christmas go on because I don't go mad at Christmas and I've been busy getting ready for Christmas. It's crazy. So I want a bit of that, a bit of that. I'm going to colour edge on that. I think that needs to be... Yeah, and that's... That's it. That's... There you go. Ink the edges, stick it on. I'm going to use my toad favourite. The Elmer's Extreme, my all-time favourite collaging glue. Oops. Let's get something to put underneath me, so I don't make a mess of me. I'm just going to grab a brown file folder. There we go. I don't want something too white, it'll be a bit glary. A bit glary at night. So I'm going to put that one on first. Grab your glue book, woman. To say I knew exactly what I was going to be doing, I'm not very organised. I think that just sums up my brain this week. Lights are on. Nobody's home. <laughs> Wee. Bring your card back. So I want this on first. Like that. That could be straight enough. Have a bit of kitchen roll. I mean, you could mass do these because I know I want to do four. So yeah, mass making them. Do you know if you've got a batch of Christmas cards to do? I mean, you really don't want to watch me make a batch of twenty Christmas cards. I don't, I'm sending twenty. I don't think I'm sending twenty cards actually. I'm, someone who makes has always made cards and does things like this. I'm really, really bad at sending personal Christmas cards. <laughs> I'm terrible. Right, I'm going to pop that there. Where am I going to put that? Have I changed my mind about where that's ended up? I don't know. I think I may have. In fact, I don't even think that what piece I was putting on were it. Oh, we've got a crease in it, but I'm not bothered. I like the look of it. A lump of glue we don't need. Can you tell I've not collaged in a while? My word. Yeah, I quite like that. Can you see that crease? It's all stuck down. I think it just gives a little bit more interest. And then we wanted that bit there, didn't we? Well, we did. We were going to have it at the bottom, but we've changed his mind. So what does that tell you about how important it were, about where it went? Not really that important. Whee. We'll have you there. Well, were you going to be there or there? I can't remember. That, that'll that do you. Yeah. Sorted. Then just to make it look it good. To make it look it good. Can I speak? Shall I round corners? I'm going to round corners with my teeny tiny corner rounder. Which is on the desk somewhere. I'm going to do the small one. I love this small one. Yeah. I think that'll just make it look good on the card. Oh my word. I do apologise when I forget people's names. I'm really terrible. When I'm filming, I can't remember names. You know when I'm doing answering your comments? I do. I can remember who's who and what's what. And one of my subscribers said the other day that... <laughs> you know, this is where my head is this week. I don't know if I've told this story in another video or where I tell it kids. Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll just tell it. I'm of an age where we do repeat ourselves, don't we? So if I've told it twice, hey ho. Some of you might have missed it. Grab me ink. So yeah, one of my subscribers said that <laughs> her grandson was making this noise and she thought that noise is familiar. And it turns out it was saying, yay! And she said that she does watch me while she's looking after him, while he's playing. And he said it in just the same tone as I do. So she thinks he might have got it off me. But she'll know for sure when he says, I find corners offensive. 
just that just made me think of that. That is so funny. That is really, that's kept me giggling all week. That has really has. Right, let's get one of these. Come here. Right. I'll just quickly show you my journal, and you'll see why I'm going to do what I'm going to do. This is my journal cover. Yeah. Uh, you can see a faint line that's going to disappear soon. It's disappearing ink. <laughs> it is. Yeah, so, so simple. It's a piece of file folder. I use one of those Penderflex cream ones. Cut down to just a bit bigger than A4. I've put Hessian on the outside with heat and bond. And I've put this lovely oatmeal coloured, some kind of linen yeah whatever fabric on the inside again with heat and bond that's my preferred method of doing journal covers i do have a tutorial i will link it i'm obviously doing a different journal so yeah so now i want to incorporate some of this hessian into some of these journal cards so i'll grab that this was a fat quarter i got a pack of four fat quarters from hobbycraft oh, last year sometime so yeah, I want to put a journal card on some hessian. I don't want to be too, I'm not just going to like that, just a teeny bit poking out. I want it to be a bit more random. I'm, get, I'm getting back into my everything has to be lined up. I'm making a mini album mode or a perfect card mode sometimes. And I'm annoying myself with it, shall we say. So I, I want to cut this more random. Now that were random, wasn't it? I'm going to fray edges a bit because I like that look. I'm going to do this over the floor because bits come off this like, well, I don't know what. Very, very bitter. Yeah, that's that. It's like it. So it's very, it's, look, it's very. Yeah, it's not fancy, this card. I've got some of Angela's greetings. I can't mess over at side of me now already. Now, I printed these greetings off. I can't remember if they come two to a page in the kit or if I did it. I know a lot of things in the kits do come two to a page. So that's full size. That's another sheet, full size. Oops, <laughs> I got the settings wrong on that one, didn't I? And then I'm sure I've got these printed again two to a page. Ah, I did it. I did one of them here. Look, yeah, I did this. Why won't that come out? Is it glued? No. So yeah, I want to use these ones, not the ones with the colour around. I don't think this time. I think I want to use these, and I want to put some kind of lace behind them. So let's cut out these. Use my little scissors now. Must remember to bring me big Tim Holtz back when I've been wrapping my presents for downstairs. I'll cut that out very randomly. I don't want it to be perfect. It's like I say, I'm annoying myself with making everything too perfect too lately. I don't, I don't mean that in a big headed way. I, my perfect, I mean oh, making it line up so that you've got. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now, I cut that out slightly bigger just because I think it looks more like a photo with that little bit of white round edge and it's obviously an old photo so I'm gonna ink that up I like that I really do we need something else under there so let me grab one of my little tubs of randomness which I have all around me they're everywhere there we go. Randomness. So I've got some. Oh, that's nice. That's obviously from the works in the UK, that. So I'm going to put some of this down here on card again. I'm not being perfect. I want to be more random in my old age. And I think I need another piece of something under there. But I don't know what. Maybe a bit more music paper. Maybe sideways this time. A lot of white on, isn't it? Inker. Right. Did anyone notice me? Get up, put me inker somewhere, and lose it because I've not been anywhere and I've lost it already. 
that's just ridiculous. Here it is. I put it where it belongs. Oh, it's the last place you look, that, isn't it? Yeah, I think I just want a bit more of that there. It needs something, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do. Get my glue book back. Which I'm always careful now to put well out of the way because sometimes I just end up with all sorts of stuck to it, which is never good. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to use my art glitter for this because that's what I like to use. You use whatever you use. I'm going to put my glue, I always put my glue on the bits of the lace that is more dense so it's less likely to bleed through but then the top, you just can't avoid it can you, you just can't avoid it the Elmer's Extreme will stick thin fabric and I have done it before, I've collaged little pieces of fabric oh I've not done that for a while let's have it there And my touch of magic is going to go there. I like that. I really do. Again, I'm going to use my art glitter. Yeah. I'm a happy Benny with that. I think I also want something else coming out from behind that hessian. And I'm thinking I might use a couple of tickets or something. Yeah, and again, there's some I've always got hanging about until I want them, then I can't find them. Here we go. 13p tickets. We can, we can be unlucky at Christmas. <laughs> there you go. We don't see all the 13 then, do we? We'll put her a bit Katie cornered there. Do I want that much ticket sticking out? I, d I honestly don't know. I can't decide. I think I might just want that one sticking out. It just needs something. I don't think that's the right thing. It really isn't. I need a different ticket. I need a long ticket. Or a fake ticket. Fake ticket. Faux ticket. We don't say fake, do we? We say faux. Right, grab. I know I've got some faux tickets in here somewhere. Oh, I've got some big long tickets. Hang on, let me grab them. Oh, yeah. These are my own personal stash, I'm afraid. I don't have enough to sell. I want one of these. This is from Rotherham. I sometimes do just stick odd ones of these in Happy Mails and just going to pull it off. That I like. That's it. That's what it needed. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that ticket to the back at Essien or it'll annoy me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, stick ticket to the back at Essien. I know you're only using half for it. You could have cut it in half and made two from it. But that would just be too well organised, wouldn't it? Just so that I know I'm going to get the right amount sticking out. Yeah. And then I'm going to stick my Hessian down. There we go. Again, I'm using art glitter. You could just use PVA, but it just won't quite dry as quick. I'm putting a thin bit around the edgy bits. Then I'm going to put more here and around the middle where I know it's going to be covered up by the photo. I just don't like fabric tacking that. I don't like the feel of it. When I'm doing little things like this, it's just... Eeyah. Eeyah. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit, a little bit more. That's that. It dries clear anyway. Then I'm going to put the little lady on a teeny bit Katie cornered, as I call it. And again, you can tell I got some cheaper art glitter, can't you? Where I use it now. Whee! Yeah, you uh, people in the UK, if you've not heard of it, a website called Something Sticky. It's glue, Dave. It's glue. I just know you're giggling now. It's glue. Yeah, and they have some really good deals on various glues. 
especially the art glitter and the kalal. All right, there you go, just smash it. <laughs> just slap it. <laughs> Terrible. So that's one, ow. Oh, my nails are in the right state. So that's one done and dusted. I quite like that. That's so cute. It's got some colours from the kit. But it's so vintage and lovely. Yeah, I've got a little bit of glue there, but I don't mind. It'll just make it look more vintage, yeah? So that's one done. One down, three to go. But I'm not going to make you suffer through all three. Because I am in, yeah, random mode today. So we'll do another one, and then I'll do the third one to show you at the beginning of the video. Right, where's all my card gone now? Where's it gone? Du -du. Yeah, I've got four card fronts ready. Can I find them? Can I, eh? Just, yeah. I'll put some elevator music on while I find it. Might be quicker, actually, if I just cut another piece, because that's... Oh, here it is. I put it out of way so I didn't lose it. I put it somewhere safe. Due to that, put things somewhere safe. Oh. Do you know, I once found a Christmas present that I bought for one of the kids when they were about three. I found it when they were about ten. I ended up giving it to my next door neighbour for her granddaughter. It were mad. It were a little fake one of those Hoovers. Was it a Henry one? I can't remember. I don't know if you have Henry Hoovers in the US or other parts of the world. I don't know if they're just a UK thing. They're just these cute little vacuum cleaners and they have a little face on. Yeah, where the pipe comes out is his nose and he's got a mouth and he's got eyes and he's got a face. Yeah, he's so cute and they're called Henry. I think the brand, oh, it sounds like an advert now. The brand is Pneumatic, yeah. But the little Hen Hoover is called Henry. I'm sure they do different sizes and they've got different names. And I think there may even be a pink one called, I don't know. It makes sense if she were called Henrietta, but she's probably called something like Gladys. You never know. So there's two happening at once here. Just to prove that you can mass make them. Whee. Do you know, I like my ink to be a bit more random when I'm doing something that's more vintage because things don't age uniformly, do they? Uniform ageing, I don't know. I'll let you know with my twins <laughs> if they age uniformly or they look exactly the same. I've no idea. That was just silly. Right, I think I want a little bit of pink on this one because that's pink. It's got a pink tone, hasn't it? Do I want the darker pink or the lighter pink? They're both gorgeous. I don't know, I think I need the dark because that's just too samey, isn't it? So I'm going to have a bit of the pink. I've not lost my ruler, which I'm quite shocked about, actually. <laughs> what? Not lost the ruler? That's amazing. So I'll take the white edges off. So I am going to be doing quite a few more of these off camera, you see. These are my Christmas cards, and it's like... What is it? <laughs> Eight days to Christmas. So I really better get on with my Christmas cards. I've had two friends deliver presents this week. And <laughs> my friend Debbie who came today, I just, I says, yeah, I says, I'll probably just throw you some over at Ben's Christmas Eve like I did last year. I think I'd, they were having a socially distanced <laughs> barbecue last year. Whee. Just her and her grandkids, because she was their carer. Right. Yeah, I think me and my eldest, I think we were just trotting round. I think we had a three hour, we did. We had a three hour walk round delivering Christmas cards. I've got a feeling I've already said this. I've, I've got such a feeling of deja vu today. Like everything I do and everything I say today has been done before, which, yeah, it's very strange. But I'm looking for my music paper now. It's very strange. No, I don't want any of that with the writing. I just don't. I'll save that bit 
no I don't mean writing with the pictures I'll save that and put that on something else I'm going to save the word silent night for something else as well I think we'll have shorter bits this time that's going to be an awful lot of pink that isn't it I think if I have that like that and then across the bottom I'll put some green yeah that sounds like a plan get one of the smaller bits I ripped off at the beginning yeah that's gonna look good so I'll rip that off just above that line yeah do you know what i'm gonna tear the edge of that a bit more wonky and i think i want the music paper on top yeah that's got rid of a little bit of the pink i just need to take that edge off a little bit more and a teeny tiny bit of inking i'm not doing lots of inking on these that's that Oh, I didn't put it on my glue. It should be all right. I was only uh, gluing two seconds ago, wasn't I? And that. So we've got all that lovely white tear and we're not going to see it now, are we? Oh, well. So I want to glue that one on first. Grab my glue book. It does dry pretty quick, this. As you notice, I just keep using the same page. Because by the time I come back to use it, it's dried. So that's that. I think will I put that on and then the music paper? I think I will. Oh, I slept through Father Christmas coming to a state village last night. What am I like? Kids didn't even notice it being. They probably had their earphones in. It's like, Father Christmas has been and we've missed him. He comes on his sledge. And I've definitely spoken about that one before. And I'm going to put that there, yeah. So I hope this is going to satisfy those of you who wanted me to see, wanted to see me make my Christmas cards. Yeah, I'm very late. I'm always late with them. But I do like to do our made ones. I feel like I've cheated if I buy them. <laughs> I just really do. So that's that piece. I'm going to have a bit. I think I'll do the light pink for this next one. I know that's not. It's got some bits of pink in, hasn't it? I think, I think that one will be good. And let's see where this goes. I think I want it at the bottom. Yeah, I do. So I'll just take that right bit off. So this is like speed journal cards now. It's like always, it takes me 20 minutes to do one and then I'll do two in about five, well, not about five minutes. Oh, I've just whacked the phone, stupid woman. Oh. Every time I try and be a bit more zoomed in, I end up doing that. Now I've just whacked table. Should I really, really be allowed out on my own today? I think I need adult supervision. Wee. Yeah, definitely. It's one of them days. So that's going to go like that. I like that. I do love polka dots. I really do. And I think Angela's incorporated them in this kit in such a lovely way. 
I think polka dots sometimes can look dated, can't they? But they just don't seem to with this kit. There we go. I seem to have put the music paper in the same place on everyone. I must really like it there. And then let's have some green. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I always do that as well with collage. The first few I make, I seem to be ripping lots of bits of paper off a new sheet. And then when I've done a couple, I just pick any up and use it. I get less fussy. And I think that's... A lot of people who say they're not good at collage. The more you do it, the more confident you'll get with it. Even a collaging session. I've not collaged for a few weeks. My first one, I'm like, oh, shall I, shan't I? Da, 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 da. And then you just crack on with it and get it done. Right. So I want a couple more bits, a couple more bits of Hessian. Now that one is perfect. So where's the rest of my Hessian? Hessian. And I'm going to cut another piece. I've probably got another pair of scissors. Again, I'm going to cut this over the floor. There's so many bits of fibre come off it. I'm wearing black. <laughs> okay, black day pyjamas, let's call them what they are. Let's call a spade a spade. Now, black day pyjamas. And the bits on me are horrendous. I've already cleaned this off with sellotape once today. And I'm going to have to do it again on the Leap Craft Room. So, yeah, I'm off camera just taking these bits off Edge of Essien. I'm going to have to hoover my craft room floor. Right. Yeah, what a mess. So that's those two. I think I'm going to use different colour tickets. Oh, I've got a purple one. I've got a pale blue long one, a greeny one. Yeah, that one's nice. I like that. I could use part of that one. And I've got these ones. And I've got, I really don't think I'd want to use purple. Oh, these ones are a bit different. I'm going to use part of that one. Yeah, I'm going to use the same lace. And I'm randomly cutting. I'm going to use a couple more bits of music paper. So there is like a little formula to it really, isn't there? Well, the way I'm collaging today, there seems to be. And I wanted the music paper sideways, didn't I? Well, that's how I did it on the first one. That's that. That's that. A couple of bits of lace. Da, 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 da. Grab some sentiments. I did cut three off, didn't I? Do you think I can find them? Oh, wow, wow. I found them. I don't know who's more shocked, me or you. That's that, that's that, that's that. Peace, love and happiness. I don't know, I think I like joy. I want love, I don't want peace, love and happiness. I just want some love. No, oh, cherish moments. I want some cherish moments. We've not used the lady one. I don't think she goes, actually. And you know I like to do everything in threes and fives. So it would have been a bit odd using the lady. So that's the cherished moments inked. Ink your cherished moments. Oh, I have seen some absolutely beautiful photographs yesterday. Thank you so much. Chestietta. <laughs> One of our lovely subscribers. Wow. She sent me some photographs of her house all trimmed up for Christmas. It's breath breathtaking. Kids loved it. Absolutely loved it. It's like, wow. <laughs> I don't think our town centre is uh, that well decorated. Not that I've been to it. Not that I've been to it. But yeah, fabulous. Right, let's ink my two little girlies. I don't mean my children. <laughs> Come on, let's ink. You're ready for school. Most kids get washed and dressed. Mine get inked. Right, we've lost a child. Oh no, put out an alert. I've lost a child. Oh no, where's it gone? 
Could it be under here? We might have to put that woman on in end. Use the lady because we've lost a child. Here it is. It's the one with wings on. I think, I, I think it flew off. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. It flew away. Right, so I want that one on there and that one on there. Yeah, I do. Right, let's get mass sticking. Mass sticking. I'm going to just use half of that ticket. So I'm going to put the green one there because I think it looks good against that pink and that one there against that green. Yay! So we've got a little formula for these now, haven't we? Let's see if we can finish these two in two seconds flat. Doubtful. I tell you, I mentioned Dave's name and I start singing. That's Dash of Dave, by the way. Dash of Dave. I do have him linked on my channels tab in my YouTube, on my YouTube own page. That's why anyone out there, if I subscribe to you, you won't know because I have my subscriptions hidden so that I can just feature certain people on that page, if you know what I mean. So rather than going to that page and seeing everyone I subscribe to, including all my conspiracy theories and <laughs> things like that, You'll just see it's whatever crafters I'm watching at the minute, I'll stick them on. So yeah, that's why that is. And Dave is on there. Dave is doing some live crafting on Christmas Day. That should be fun. After a sherry or two, I think. Braver man than I am. Well, I drink... I'm going to say I drink twice a year. I haven't had anything to drink since last Christmas. Yeah, that's how often I drink. Yeah, my alcohol bill for the year is like £20. <laughs> Can't sneeze at that, can you? Always room in my recycling bin. <laughs> Wee. Right. Yes, no, I don't have jacked alcohol or anything like that. I don't object to drinking. I just got out of the habit and I just can't seem to get back into it much as I try. I think being a single mum to twins, you, you don't drink. You're just afraid you might never wake up if anything happens. It's like, no, you've got to be, you've got to be, yeah, alert at all times. I love it. I'm absolutely loving that. Right, I'm just going to do that with that ticket because it is a little bit wibbly wobbly. It's a bit wibbly. Will it be wibbly? It's old. So I'm going to put that there like I did on the other one because it's a formula I am liking. I might have to get my, um, yeah, my, uh, I'm going to have to use PVA because my art, little art glitter bottle is just about empty with all glue I've used on this. PVA, it's just as well, it's a slight chance it'll wrinkle more, but it dries clear just the same, but I'm gluing on to really solid cardstock so I'm not concerned that it's going to wrinkle. Just need to clear that nozzle. Come on Mrs P, you're a bit thick aren't you? I think you could do a bit of water in. Ooh, let's just, yeah that's really thick. I've put in quite a bit under where I know the picture's gonna go. In fact I'll do that with PVA and then I'll do the little bits around the edge with my art glitter. So I can get it out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these under something heavy before I put them on the card fronts anyway. I 
I think I've got more of that sticking out and I'm not too sure how I feel about it. But it's done now, isn't it? Just a bit more glue under edge of it. That's got rid of that bit that were bubbled up. And I can, I, can, I can live with that much ticket actually. Do I have the right lady? That we're going with the light pink, that we're going with the dark pink. I'm going to use art glitter for this because I don't want this wrinkle and it's only 160 GSM card. Art glitter glue that is. And again we've got her at a little angle. I really like them. They're cute. And we're going to do the same with this one. Could have been different and pretty other side, but they're all going to different people. I'll put one in my journal and then two can be cards. Yeah, we don't want too much sticking out. So I'll put that on thicker where that card's going to go over. And then heart glitter around the edges. If there's any bits that are flipping and flapping about too much, you can always pop a little bit more glue under the edge of these. It's not a drama. There we go. So yeah, that were a lot quicker making the other two. I think I made two in the same amount of time it'd taken me to make one before. And then that's you on. A bit Katie cornered. We like you. Right, so we made three. We got three done. I'm really quite happy with those. So, thank you very much for watching me. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.